this is the iPhone 12. Guess where we are? Well, not yet. We're almost to Atlanta. We're about an hour away. So we're gonna be staying in the Hampton Inn and Suites. And we will do a room tour of the room. We're gonna be staying on the 19th floor, I think. I've already checked in on the Hampton Inn's, well, Hilton's digital app. Um, so you actually get a digital room key. So you don't even have to go to the front desk. And then we will be going to Six Feet Under, which is this like, I think seafood restaurant. So that's gonna be pretty cool, but we're definitely showing you a room tour and we'll probably get a little bit of our food. And then guys, also guess what I just got? This is the iPhone 12. So see you guys there. All right, so this is the Hampton Inn Midtown in Atlanta, Georgia. They have these super cool little Bluetooth Rather than having the key on the door, they've got a Bluetooth thing. And what it does is the, the Bluetooth on your phone, whenever we got here, to get into the hotel and to get um, on the elevator, to work the elevator, and to get into the room, you can do it all from your smartphone, which is pretty awesome. I've never seen anything like that. I was worried about vulnerabilities with the phone and technology and all, but I was like, okay, this is this is actually pretty cool. You just can't walk in. But this is the bathroom door, right when you walk in. Nice big bathroom, very well lit. And they've got this cool door right here. I don't think it locks, so that may be an issue if you're uh, <laughs> handling some fitness in the bathroom and somebody just happens to walk in on you. But uh, you can see how it works. That's the bathroom, and then when you move the bathroom door, you got your safe, and a little closet, a little stand, ironing board, hangers, you know, the usual. Looks like that might be some kind of comforter or something up there, I don't know. I think that they have actually, um, there's a note in here about housekeeping. I think they'll only have housekeeping come if you, requ if you request them because of COVID and everything. But I got a nice little gray, kind of like a barn wood floor, rustic whitewash toilet. But here's the bathroom. And then a nice little sink area. And then here's the little soaps and shampoo, conditioner, Neutrogena. Pretty nice. And then here's the Hilton clean stay, clean and disinfected for your comfort and protection. And then we've got the little note here about uh, they'll only provide housekeeping upon your request. So that's pretty nice. I actually prefer that. And then here is the big wide open shower with another Kind of wrap up the whole design with a little sliding glass door. And this is a shower. That's a cool drain. And they've kind of got a nice little thing right there. I think I can fit in here. Yeah. Let's Wait. see. Yeah, I could totally like. Oh, and that's crazy. The thing is way over here. Look how convenient because you know when you guys like shower and stuff. I don't know if you've ever, and you have to walk over here and then you yeah, and it, and it freezes you out. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. We'll try that out when we get back. We're gonna go eat downtown um, Atlanta, and uh, but anyway, here's the fan button, the light switch, and it's really modern. They've got a lot of like little modern amenities. They've got a nice little rack right here where we hung, hung our clothes and our bag and everything. And then a nice little table with a chair and a lamp, coffee machine, all the all the usual stuff. But check out this. This this is my favorite part. Bam, 69 degrees. 
can't do that at home. Cause somebody will freeze. But look at that big old bed. These little floating nightstands. They've got power cables and little USB connectors right there. Oh. Pretty cool. I just realized this is notes. Yeah, little Those music like notes. Music, uh, what do you call them? Uh, like, they're little, uh, Y'all, we both, it's been a minute since we were in band. Yeah, well, those are, that's just, what is that? Yeah, little music notes. Yeah. On there. Those are like staffs. Staffs, and all yeah. That. But well, like, what's the actual thing called? Measures. If you guys know what the actual, like, complete line is, comment below, because obviously we don't know. It's just music, but check out this. Got a nice big TV, nice little thing right here, microwave. You think there's a fridge in here? Oh, well, there's racks. Yeah, right here. There's racks that pull off. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's and there's your fridge. Hold on. But, oh, it's yeah. kind of cold. Well, I can think the excuse these days is COVID. If there's anything yeah. wrong in the room, they're just like, well, it's COVID. The refrigerator's not turned on because of COVID. This is my best friend right here. <laughs> that's my number one thing to do in hotels is to come in here and turn the air as cold as I can get it because it's just as a child growing up, we, uh, we would always do that at like Myrtle Beach and places. I mean, getting getting back in from the ocean and it being so cool. But here is a, uh, we are on the 19th, 19th floor. floor. And you can see how far that is. Ooh, look at those people walking. Look how far down they are. Boat bird's gonna get them. <laughs> yeah, that's a good little ways away. So. Even though we're 19 floors up, Look at how much taller these buildings go. That's ridiculous. All right, guys, that was the room tour. So now we're gonna go to Six Feet Under, which it is, I believe, seafood and well, kind of like a seafood type, like a little pub kind pub. of place or yeah. something. Yeah. It says it's 1.3 miles away and takes 17 minutes. City life. So that's that's nothing like uh, our our little country living. <laughs> There's more traffic here. That's that's the the biggest thing I stress out about is all the traffic. And so we're thinking, I've never taken an Uber. I'm just an old man, little country boy, so we don't we don't get out much. But uh, I've never taken Uber, so we may take Uber or we may just drive. I know we got the vehicle valeted when we came here. It's thirty-seven dollars a night. What is the valet? Oh, so the valet's paid for. Yeah. Oh. Well, we'll probably pay. It's either going to be added to the tab, or he'll just outright want like cash or something. So hmm. we will tell you that when we leave. But for, for right him, now, for them to drive it around to a parking lot. Yes, and usually you tip like one to five dollars, depending on. But we're gonna go eat, and then we can show you guys the process of the Bluetooth that he talked about in the elevator. Yeah, so, you ready? I'm ready. Speed under, and this is a pub and fish house. So and it just so happens to be across the street from a cemetery. That's so actually a famous cemetery, but I forgot what famous cemetery because I saw people like. Oh yeah, there's like tours and stuff. Yeah, but um, it also has upstairs dining, so we'll show you around and see if we can get upstairs. Look, I'm gonna try and go upstairs and see what it looks like. I think we're just gonna end up showing you guys what it looks like because it is very dark, and this is just some wooden stairs that you go up. Theming is on point, you guys. It's kind of like a pub. So. Well, it is a pub. We need to do a low light test. <laughs> low light test. You guys, comment below if you know what we're talking about from our very first vlog. Oh yeah, it's kind of wet. But this is the upstairs. Let's see. That's covered. North African. Oh yeah. This is the view though that I did want to show you guys. If you can see it through the trees. And you kind of see the skyline over there. But I think we're going to go downstairs because it's very wet and slippery. So we'll go downstairs. Side, it says Welcome to Midtown because we are at the Hamptons. Welcome to the Peach State. We're in Georgia, you guys. Oh, and there's like what we were talking about with the Bluetooth. And then I'll show you real quick. Let's see. Open my app and go to digital, tap to unlock, and then what you do is hold it close, and it opens. 
excuse a little. Hey, okay. Rooftop. Rooftop terrace you can go out on. Look at that. Oh, look at this like cool like, table. Look at all the people's TVs on. Mm -hmm. So they've got um, a little rooftop terrace out there. And they close at 11 o'clock. And there's some people out there, so we're not going to bug them with filming. But check this out. This is cool. How cool is that? Nice little bar area. And that was the third one. Bar. They have some beverages and adult beverages and snacks and all that. And another TV. There's a fitness room. Oh, hey. What are you doing? How are you guys doing? This is the fitness room. Oh, look at this. They have like one of those. It's a palace. It's a palace. Cityscape on the wall. You know, this place is fancy. Look how fancy this place is, you guys. Shout out to Peloton. Laundry room. Little washer and dryer. So it's free. Oh. A little front load. Kind of sanitizing. Oh, looks clean. Oh, inspection complete. Let's we'll just slam the door right in front of our guest. Got a little sign right here. Laundry supplies are available. Alrighty. And it's 72 degrees. Put your phone up there. Hello? I'm Is anybody the here? I'm going to unlock the door. And... Turn on the lights. Make sure here. All right, so let's get a look at night of the skyline. If I can get you to lift up this. Oh yeah. Um, I know the glare from the light's probably going to shine, but that'll be okay. Let's just see what we're looking at. This here skyline. Here's our view. Ooh, that's some nice lighting, the way it handles the light. But anyway, this is the 19th floor. Of the, oh, does that change colors? The of King the Hampton Inn and Suites room. And look at that. There's like flames on that. Where? On that building over there. Ooh. Let's see if we can get a little closer for you. <laughs> look at that. Because I could have sworn that building was like blue or something this earlier today. It might change colors. It has to. And then that building, look at that. Looks like flames going up. That's really cool. You know, I love the woods and I love the country, but uh, there's something to say about. Did you see that? The city skyline way out. I in like the distance. it. I like it. I like also how this camera is able to capture stuff I can't actually see. Yep, yeah, there's a Atlanta skyline. I'm breathing heavy because I just had a catfish po' boy. <laughs> so we'll tell you about that now. We just got back from Six Feet Under. It's in Grant Park, right in... Um, Midtown. Midtown, Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm full. We're both full. She got... Yeah. What'd you get? I got a fried oyster basket. Fried oyster basket with um, chips. Mm -hmm. I guess they're house-made chips. are really yeah. good. And then I ended up getting a catfish po' boy. As a matter of fact... This is what it looks like. So I got that catfish mm -hmm. po' boy with a remoulade sauce and chips. She got the fried oyster basket mm -hmm. and um, some waters. And the food was out in under 10 minutes. It was extremely oh, yeah. fast. I'm like, I just don't really like going out that much. I'm kind of a homebody. But uh, man, if from V Pizza in Jacksonville Beach to now six feet under in Midtown, mm -hmm. I mean, if food's this fast and uh, customer service couldn't have been better he recommended the sandwich they were out of crab cakes that's why i really want a little shout out to baltimore uh maryland but anyway that's originally what i wanted and uh, i think it was like 18 dollars for four crab cakes which is which sounds expensive but, but uh we did a craft show last weekend for some woodworking trinkets and all that stuff and a crab cake sandwich about yay big around was sixteen dollars little gander around the hotel mm. i'll show you all that and went up to the rooftop there were some people up there talking about marketing and branding and all that and we're on vacation so we don't talk about work so we decided to 
skedaddle on and go around and let her go lift some weights in the gym. And then tomorrow morning we will take you guys to breakfast with us because every time you stay at a Hilton, I think Hilton, um, but for sure Hampton Inn, you will definitely get a free complimentary breakfast. So we'll show you that tomorrow morning and then we were off to Asheville. So. Hey guys, good morning. We're still in Atlanta at the Hampton Inn. And this is our morning view. Still cloudy, but it's pretty cool to see the sunrise. Well, technically it didn't rise, but it's pretty cool to see the lights on the buildings kind of start to fade out this morning and then the sky kind of lighten up. But let's see. Oh, also the Marta is right there. So the hustles and bustles of Atlanta. So now we are going to go get breakfast. Ooh, excuse me. And that's going to be from, I think it was from six o'clock until 10 o'clock. Cause we just called down there and they said it was till 10. So. Hey guys, so we're here at breakfast. We have a juice thing and this is free again. Waters. see if I can show you guys. It looks out literally over the skyline. So that's really cool to sit and watch. I don't know if that's mountains or if that's city. That might be Stone Mountain maybe, I don't know. But there's like Atlanta. There's a crane truck in there. Oh, yeah. And they have like cranes and stuff doing stuff and things. So we're gonna get some breakfast and then we'll meet you guys back either at Ikea or in the next vlog at Asheville. Asheville, we didn't make it to Ikea because we didn't have time, you guys. Classic us. Yeah. We but had to come meet the Airbnb owner and uh, let her walk us around and show us all in the place. So we are now in Asheville, North Carolina. Yes. At an Airbnb and it's a gorgeous property and fire pit and just gorgeous views. But that's for next week's video because we have to go out and film and have dinner and go exploring and, and we'll we show you all what it looks like here. However, to wrap up Atlanta, that was a lot of fun. It was. We stayed at Hampton Inn. We went to Six Feet Under mm -hmm. and... The Hampton Inn was great. It was, um, mm -hmm. the, it's the first time I've seen, you don't actually go through uh, a traditional lobby. You go up to the valet. Uh, valet was like 37 bucks a night. Mm -hmm. They uh, take your vehicle, you use the little, uh, you know, your phone to the little Bluetooth fob and go in and you're right there greeted with elevators. And the lobby is actually the floor above us. We were on uh, that floor 19. Mm -hmm. And the lobby is floor 20. And another thing I'll mention, I'll, I'll have to show it in the video or whatever, but I was telling her, and comment below if you know this, but there's no 13th floor in a, well, there's no 13th floor designation in the elevator in hotels. I don't know if you've ever noticed that before, but um, I was gonna show that to her and realize we have footage of it, so I'm gonna show her the footage here shortly, but I thought that was kind of neat mm -hmm. to see that there's not actually, I mean, I mean, everybody knows what you, if you're on the 14th floor, you know what's up, but that was a lot of fun. It was. Well, we hope you enjoyed our video of uh, us going out and about in Atlanta. We we're only there for one night, so uh, there's just a few places that we went, but hey, that's how we, that's how we tend to roll. We uh, will drive more than we actually spend time in a town a lot of times, but we get to see a lot of cool things, and hopefully, um, you enjoyed it and it gave you some insight on some things you can do if you've never been there. By the way, uh, the Six Feet Under was, was amazing. That was some really good food. Because I was really not even that hungry and ended up eating. He ate all. Catfish po boy. He did. So if you guys liked the video, give a thumbs up. If you guys are viewing it and you want us to try something new in Atlanta, comment that down below. But you gotta stay tuned for next week's video where we do possibly Chimney Rock and show you around Asheville. All right, guys, see you next week.